hello and I think it's stopping by to my channel. So today is I'm gonna call it day zero, day O of New York Fashion Week. So I just finished work. Matter of fact, take this off. Just finished work. I have officially clocked out of my nine to five and I'm on vacation, aka New York Fashion Week um, time until Tuesday. And it is what is today? Thursday at like after 7 p.m. So I'm actually sitting in Starbucks right now, sipping a little mango green tea, and okay, so my friend made this nice spreadsheet of our plans for the next three to four days of fashion week. She's so organized, but I'm an analog girl, so I have my daily planner, so I'm writing out each day. I'm gonna have this case with me and my pocketbook every day to keep me on track of what I'm doing. This side is like the, my shows the times if I have a plus one who they are so I can remember to follow up with them and then to do like some tasks some content creating tasks I want to get done some notes etc if I write it down it's a little bit easier to remember so right now I'm just also waiting my mentor slash content creator friend is in New York City for fashion week we have not met in person yet we you know we've spoken on FaceTime via Instagram that's where we met so we're gonna meet up today. We're going to shoot and have some drinks, but it's getting late, it's getting dark. Um, so if she has time, we'll shoot. I have on a look today, you can't tell. I had to close it up, because at work I was having a little bit of a slip. But yeah, so I'm just sitting in Starbucks, getting some work done. In the meantime, as she's done with her event, and then we're gonna meet up, have drinks, dinner, just catch up in person. I even brought her a little gift from Coco Made With Love, which is my jewelry brand. And I even made some new jewelry for Fashion Week. I made a late, late, late last night. Oh, it's a piece of the straw. Anyway, so as we're waiting, let me show you some of the stuff that I made and I brought. So I definitely have been saying I wanted to get more into mixing metals, gold and silver, because I mainly do gold fill and brass, which is gold colored jewelry. So let me show you what I've made. Hopefully, hopefully you two can't hear the music in the background. So I don't get demonetized, but here's an example of some of the pieces. It's like gold and silver coin jewelry, because I kind of want the collection to be about like, hmm, attracting financial abundance. So I have some that are like a gold chain with silver and gold pendant, and the opposite, but now the music is getting louder, so I will follow back up later, so I don't get demonetized. bringing most of it home and now we're just out and about in Times Square getting content. How's your day been so far? Your fashion week? It's been good. good. I feel good. I feel like now I'm entering fashion week in a good mood. So we're just going to get a little bit more content then head on home. Oh and this is some of the new jewelry that I made last night at like midnight. Mixing metals but yes let me get back. So what were we doing? So we can get up out of here because there's some characters out here. And I'm glad it was like, you know, something to old straight yeah. and sleep well in yeah. person. Okay. So we're done getting our little content. We're done with the crazy. So now I'm just waiting for the light to change. And then head on home. Luckily, this train that's right here where we are is going straight to where I need to go to hop on my train to Jersey. So yeah, so that was my day zero of Fashion Week, and then tomorrow is the official, official, official start for me. Oh, 
All right, good morning. It is Friday. The something. <laughs> it's morning. I'm running late, but I'm getting there. So, of course, New Jersey Transit let me down again and Uber and Lyft, but it's okay. In route. So, yeah. Well, the morning light is great. So, yes, I'm headed there. I'm a little bit behind schedule, but it's okay because I actually wanted us extra early and my friend is already in line. But yeah, so today the first stop is a fashion show that is put on by, remember Latavia from Destiny's Child way, way back in the day? So apparently she has a brand and she's showing today. So I'm going to her show this morning. It's a 10 a.m. show. So right now it's about 9.30. So, and that's and I'm wearing my new jewelry again. This time just two out of the four necklaces I made. See if you can see it better. Let me hurry up because people are looking at me. All right, so we were a few minutes too late trying to get up to the show. Unfortunately, I'm wow, I'm really shiny already. So I'm stopping to get a little something to eat. I'm with my friend Taylor. Hello. Beautiful day. So I'm going to eat this overpriced, but. Hopefully good. A banana, peanut butter it toast, good. mango, lassi smoothie. Head to the next thing. Oh, I guess it's like own um, like um. We just finished, well I just finished eating, I met up with some of the fashion girls, Taylor you've met. We got my friend Wendy here, and Karen. I'm sorry, can I get your name Sherry. Really? Sherry, we just met her today. Love her energy. <laughs> and we have Gloria, the cutie. And what is your name? Brianna. Brianna, do you mind if I have my vlog? Okay. And look at the lovely Brianna and her outfit. So we're gonna- take her dress. <laughs> so we're going to take some photos and then head to one of them. I'm going to use my phone one time. Okay. Yeah. So how are we going to do it? I guess we're going to do it. 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 We're going to I just got off the phone, off the phone, off the subway. I'm so windy, just going up those stairs, it's a lot. But we're in route to like a pop-up activation thing. Still got my little mango smoothie here. Yeah. We just walked in, but now we're in so hot. Bike lane. Alright, so we're just leaving Spring Studios where we have usually that's where a lot of the main shows are. Then we're gonna go find some food. We got some cute pictures, met some nice photographers. Y'all see my face, how sweaty I am. Where the other girls walking chatting. Y'all got cute pictures and videos. Y'all, it's hot. The rest of my looks kind of got sleeves. I gotta, I gotta rethink some things. Oh, I'm just looking at my reflection. I was like, oh, it's cute. Honestly, ASOS has this in like different patterns and colors. I should've just got one for everyday fashion week, to be honest. 
it's way it's hot but yeah now heading to find something to eat because the event we were supposed to go to right before them my blend is starting to be exposed the event we we're supposed to go to right before this we made a mistake it's actually starts tomorrow so they were setting up so we walk in i'm like oh we're early they're like are you dropping something off because the event's tomorrow so now we just you know get content take a pictures and now we're gonna go eat and melt off our face some more Welcome to the live Spring Summer 2024 Collections at New York Fashion Week. really good I really enjoyed a lot of the pieces and I feel like a lot of them I'd actually wear oh. all right so yes the fit the show was actually pretty good I really enjoyed a lot of the designs especially the last two collections that came down they look really 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 good like I want to wear all the pieces that I saw and I also love how they play with a lot of tool and like organza sheer materials because one I've always been into like organza stuff but lately I'm actually seeing them in the stores again there's a pair from zara that i wanted so bad but they didn't have my size in store so it's good to see that that looks like it's going to be trending for the upcoming spring summer season and i saw there was still a lot of like you know like that rhinestone shimmery diamante vibe there's a lot of that too so i guess that means that's here to stay <laughs> which i love and i still got pieces like that so that's perfect um but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me know maybe in the comments like what designs you saw that caught your eye. You're like, yo, I'd wear that fresh off the runway. Let me know. Because there's a lot of them that I had that thought. Like as they were coming down, I was like, I want that. I want that. I want that one. I want that one. So now I'm headed off. I don't even know. I actually don't have anything right now, but my friend does. So I'm just going to go with her and see, you know, if they let me in. They probably won't because I am not on there. Um... And then afterwards, I have an event with Essence House.
All right, so that show was good. That was actually a show that my friend was invited to. And I just went and, you know, just tried my luck. And they were like, you have a ticket? I was like, no. So I was like, okay, well, the press pit is over there. Just got by the spot. I was like, okay. Pulled out my, well, my camera's away right now, but pulled out my little expensive camera and my little tripod for my phone. I was taking pictures, taking videos, you know, looking real press like. But technically, I am. I'm going to share it. I'm sharing it. But it was a really good show. I really like how it was a black woman designer, you know, love support my peeps. And now we're heading to the Essence, what is it called? Essence, I'm gonna say Essence Fest, but it's Essence House. And a bunch of people that I know online are going to be there as well. So it'll be nice to meet up with them. This will be our first like big meetup for Fashion Week. And we're not too far from it, so just walking. The rain stopped, rehydrating with Essentia. Oh, now the rain's coming back. See? Spoken into existence. Alright, so I was having a lot of travel issues to get to Essence House. Traffic, 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 taxi, went the wrong way because of my map, but I made it. I'm like over there, but I made it. So let's head on in. Got going on over here. Okay. So my perspective, it's very interesting. Like hearing your perspective, I'm like, that's so true. But like from my perspective, I'm giving you perspective from on the ground, from where we sit, right? Um, so picture this, okay, picture this. In Africa, most parents are very concerned about every kid being a doctor. It's a doctor, lawyer, engineer. You know, so you can impact, you, you can just imagine me <laughs> going to tell my professor, doctor, he's a professor for professor in plant pathology, <laughs> and my mom is a professor in botany, and all my siblings, from the first one being a molecular biologist to a stem cells researcher to a biochemist, robotic engineer to a, then how? Uh, it was not going to happen in my house. I slept outside the house for two years. I found some of the girls from the group chat, man. Look at Angela, look at oh so fly. And then we have this. Look at how gorgeous she looked. The details. Down to the shoes, the bag, the blazer. And look at Trisha looking fabulous. Now come on, dress. Black owned. Who's the body again? Marco Hall, North New Jersey's finest. Oh. Oh, sorry. Heard it here first. And we have this gorgeous dress. I mean, look at those shoes. no technology anywhere that can make a garment. Well, it's getting dicey, it's getting up there now, but people are still hand sewing this way. It's still, it's still far away. There's still two people, there's still people with two hands that are making the garment. There's no shortcuts around it. And I think the way we consume, like, 
generationally, people before used to savor their clothing, they used to repair their clothing, they used to have it for years. There was no concept of like shopping culture the way that we do it. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, everybody likes to look flat. But there's gotta be a medium because everyone has crowded this space. Everybody wants to be in fashion, everybody wants to start a line, and there's so many clothes in the world. This idea of there being like naked people in Africa, it's not true. Everyone has clothes, like there's clothes, there's more than enough clothes. <laughs> Um, and yeah, put up and give a different look there. This is cute. And of course, we're still not done, all right? Fall, once again, fall is all about textures and mixing textures. My favorite thing to do because here in New York, you'll leave the house and it's one weather, and then next thing you know, it's raining. Look at today. You know, it was blazing. And it's a heat wave right now or something like that going on. Yeah, it's doing a most. I don't know. So then we can just drink this. Yours. We can drink her. Yeah. You know, they're like, when's your show? When's your show? But they don't want to give you the funding to produce the show. Um, they don't give you the backing um, to, to produce the show or whatever it is um, that you're doing really. You sort of just get like a pat on the back and like, hey, go do it, we'll watch, you know? And I've noticed that um, I've received the most support from corporations when tragedy happens within our community. So, all right, so Essence Fashion House was a success. The panels were good, the drinks were good, the vibes were good. I ran to a lot of people that I've never met before or just, you know, follow them online. Wendy, how do you feel about the Essence? It was good, Fashion. it was a great event. Yeah. I got to see all the girlies. I'm excited for day two. Okay, perfect, me too. So there was a fashion show at nine and like, um, a party with Maya, Miel, and Noya House. I ain't gonna. I'm tired. It's after nine. I'm walking to Penn Station, taking my butt home. And yeah. So this pretty much, for the most part, concludes day one of Fashion Week. Not to navigate to Jersey. Hello, hello. It is day two of Fashion Week today. I had a crazy, hectic morning but made it out, almost did it, but I made it out. <sighs> Headed to brunch, I'm a little out of wind because just got out of the um, staircase for the subway, so I was feeling so bad this morning, so sick. <sighs> I thought I was gonna have to cancel for today, but I started feeling better. Do something on, throw on my makeup, do on my wig in like 45 minutes to an hour. Like you can see, I'm winded because I'm rushing. But the brunch spot, because I'm going to a brunch with a bunch of girls that I and guys that I'm in a group chat with for Fashion Week stuff. So we gotta eat, key, key, take pictures. But it's two doors down, so let me head on in. As you can see, I didn't even put on any lipstick. My makeup, I mean, my jewelry is not fully on, just my rings and earrings. But that's cool. I'll do that later. Here it is. Alright, made it to brunch. This is a cute place. Look at the chandelier. Here are some of the girls. Hello. Oh. 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 I think it is. Two more glasses, please. Hello. Uh, We're going to have to do this. Hello. Nice to see you again. I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your super busy fashion week schedule to come here and have brunch with me and all these other fabulous ladies. I hope you guys make some good connections. All right, as you can see, it is pouring raining out here because why not? 
we, we are at Spring Studio outside of the Fashion Week one. Everything. We just met up with some of my friends after brunch. We took some pictures. We got some content. Started pouring. Here with Wendy. All right. As we wait for our Uber. Um, but yeah, it's kind of killing our vibe that it's raining because there's some content to get. But the rain. As you can see, there's not too many people out here right now. Not a lot of shows happening right at this moment. So yeah. Ooh. Waiting for Uber. I'm trying to be good at vlogging this fashion week, but honestly, there's so much like going on, and when you're running around, I forget to pick up my phone or my camera. But it's a little sneak peek into some of the things. The pictures may be really pretty, but sometimes it's a struggle on the other end of the camera, like the rain. All right, made it to our next event, show, something, and there's some street photos going on at the same time. Gotta wait for this traffic to clear out. just in time for the show like they're about to start walking as we walked in got a little champagne let's keep quiet because the show is about to start now of course show you i give you information about the designer If you say no, you're lying. <laughs> and like, look at this. And it has, I can't do two things at once, but it has like an attached glove to that bodysuit. Let's see if I can show you. Look at this, and it's like a very thick and heavy scuba material. Sorry. This is substantial, very heavy. And look at this. I'm obsessed. Yeah. But sometimes you think I'm gonna say this will be a flower. The show was good. The DJ afterwards was a you know, very interesting little mix. It was nice. Um, so I also went there because I really wanted to uh, kind of like network because they house a bunch of small independent designers, clothes wise, but they also have accessories like jewelry. Um, so I spoke to the PR person. They also do polls for influencers. So I was like, oh, that'd be great for like an event or fashion week. Instead of buying looks and stuff, I could pull something, borrow, and then turn and have a good look and also obviously represent the brand so spoke to the person for that and got the contact to you know pick myself about my jewelry maybe being in the store 
So that was a success. So now we're heading out to maybe our last event of the day, which I don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna find out when we get there. There's that new house, which is kind of like a membership place, kind of like Soho House, how those are like membership thingies, but I know a few people that are there and Me Feeder, who's that's a publication, is doing hosting events with them in collaboration for Fashion Week. So we're going to that. But now we're in Uber or Lyft. Also meant to recap what I thought about this show. So again, you know, Fashion Week, this is the spring summer collections they're showing right now. So with this designer, what I noticed that there was a lot of play with poplin. So like like shirt material, button up shirt, but reworked. So they were asymmetrical, they were cutouts, they were deconstructed and reconstructed. So I thought that was really cute. So maybe we'll see a lot of that in upcoming spring, summer. I also saw a lot of sheer still, so like sheer pants, sheer tops, sheer sets. So it looks like the see-through, sheer, transparent trend. So it looks like it's not going anywhere because they're still showing that for the upcoming season. And I also saw a lot of cutouts, which has been popular for a little while now. And um, you know how like you see like work pants, dress pants, but with a twist, like the hem has two different materials or the hem or the waistband is not where it's supposed to be, it's somewhere different. So like avant-garde type looking versions of what would be like workwear and smartwear I saw a lot of that so maybe that's like a reflection of what's to come for the upcoming spring summer season that's what I took away from that show anyway but their designs were really nice and some of the they also had some of the designers designs that were not part of this collection but just other things amazing amazing and very unique so yeah, I would really love to pull from that store and pull from that that specific designer as well Oh yes, off to the next spot. I wonder if she did, but earlier. No, she um, she was just like she's heading out. <laughs> <laughs> Installation. We can take pictures by the Miel, like princess chair, queen chair. Um, they had some photo ops. There was an ice cream truck outside, but we got there a little late. So when we went back to get ice cream, they were going mad about that part. But yeah, I've been to Nui House for other events, so it was very cute. It's very like calm, chill, dark, and moody vibe. Listen to the panel for a little bit, but to be honest, I couldn't really hear what they were saying. So collected some goodies and headed on out but it was a cool event I feel like if I was there a little bit earlier and I got to see more of the stuff going on the installations the activities there was a photo booth there was headshots for LinkedIn missed that um why are we stopping but yeah that was good we took a nice little 18 minute walk to Penn Station because that's where I need to go get my train head back to Jersey my friend Wendy, she's headed back to where she lives. And that's a wrap for the day. I did have a show tonight at 9 p.m. I ain't going to that. I feel bad that they granted me like VIP access, but I'm like, I'm, I wanna go home, bathe, catch up on my Instagram content. I haven't really posted in my stories about Fashion Week at all because I've just been going, going, going. And then just get a nice night's rest for tomorrow's festivities. All right. 
finally back home. I had a little bit of a mishap, so I took my train. I had to transfer, and I saw a train right across. Everybody's running right across, and I thought everybody was transferring where I was going. No, got on a train to the wrong place. That's okay, because it wasn't too far from the town I live in, so I called an Uber, which I was going to call an Uber anyway. <sighs> finally made it home. It is now... Hey, Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.09 p.m. See, if I stayed in this city, I would have been only nine minutes into that 9 p.m. show. So I'm glad I'm home. So you can see my face is shine. Look at my nose. It's like a whole layer of natural oil and probably dirt, grime, makeup, you know, all this stuff. So I'm going to wash my face. Take off this wig. And I actually have some emails to do tonight. Um, two brands that I'll be working with over on Instagram. So I gotta pick out some clothes for outfits to make content around. So I'm gonna do some of that. Uh, follow up with somebody else. And then I'm gonna get to posting over on my Instagram stories. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen these stories in my fashion week and it'll be saved in my highlights. Um, but if not, you know, you have your own content here over on YouTube. So yeah, that's it for day two. I'm sorry, there is a spider on my ceiling. I gotta kill him before he kills me. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a wrap for day two. I'm just going to be chilling, eating some food. I picked up some um, Chick-fil-A on the way home. I'm gonna bathe first, and then I'm gonna eat, devour, do emails, content, you know, all the things. So thank you for coming along with me to content day two. I don't know how this video is gonna look because I feel like I didn't get to vlog much of today, but I got a little something and I will bring you along in day two. So I'll see you tomorrow for me, but in a few seconds for y'all. Bye. Hello, it is day three of Fashion Week. As you can see, no hair out today. It is torrential, torrential downpour. Some places have hail. It's so bad. Like, you would think it's a storm outside. So I stopped at Penn Station before heading to my show. Hopefully that's still make it. Have a little breakfast, sandwich, and a pastry, and some water. And luckily my top is a bathing suit. Um, definitely connects up my heels idea. I'm wearing my regular sandals. I got pearls on it. My denim bag. So my jewel, some of my jewelry. Can't see the other hand because it's holding up my phone. But yeah, this weather is definitely a vibe killer. So I'm just gonna eat this breakfast really, really quickly. It's not this journey because part of it is walking to this show and then hope that the weather doesn't get worse but it actually gets better. Alright, got me a tuna sandwich and a little pastry. And I'm going to try not to get my lipstick all of my face. Train route. I found a combination of trains that would yield the least amount of walking. So I had to go uptown, take a different line, so I can back downtown. So that way I'm only walking a block and a half. Well, an avenue and a half. So I'm running a little bit late, but like still kind of early. Early, late, late, early. Yeah. And the rain let up just a little bit. So it's still raining, but it's not a torrential downpour with, you know, low visibility anymore. Oh, there, man.
in the train popped on over to soho to the folklore showroom which has been going on pretty much all day yesterday and today so they're showing a bunch of different i believe black designers as you can see my umbrella looked a little bit different don't it it's my stone mine so i had to just take what was left i didn't want to do it and this is a good umbrella like it's heavy it's sturdy you got patterns but hey gotta do what i gotta do right um so yeah now we're back in the good old woo, Soho with these slip on me. Grand, wow. I'm in flats and this is like, I'm literally sliding. Yeah. Let's see what this showroom has. It's okay. All right. So that show was really good. Before I forget what I saw, what I did notice they had a lot of like um, neon colors, like pinks and yellows. So maybe neon is going to be hot again for this upcoming spring summer, possibly. There was big flower decals. So that's still gonna be high, I think. If we're, if this is any, indi if this show is any indicator of what's going to be popular next spring summer, I saw some gingham prints. I'm not just saying that because I'm wearing them. <laughs> um, what else did they show of sheer see-through things again, which is very hot right now. So it makes sense that in spring summer we'll probably see more of that. And I have to go back and look at what I, <laughs> what we just watched to see what else. What else I saw coming down the runway as uh, you know maybe a pre-indicator of what's going to be in next spring summer but this show was really good there was a lot of pieces I mean a lot of pieces that I was like I would wear don't know where but they were so good all three collections were amazing but the last two was especially my favorite but now we're at the folklore showroom and now we made it to the folklore connect showroom here's Soho and here are some of the brands that will be featured in there. materials like this feels the texture feels so good it's so soft like look how creative this is i would have never thought 
This is the brand. Can I even see it? I'm trying to show y'all. Look at how beautiful this is. And it's like puffy on the bottom. That is really nice too. You see the front? Ooh, that is good. Oh, shoot. All right, so we made it to the showroom. It was supposed to be a private event. I think we got our, RS, our RSVPs by accident. But after I'm like, oh, come on from Jersey, blah, blah, blah. We were able to go in and see. It was actually pretty good. I spoke to one of the jewelry designers that was being showed at the showroom and she was amazing. Her pieces were amazing. So you can get a story about her brand. We were just talking about jewelry stuff. She's encouraging me to keep going. Definitely do pursue, because I always wanted to, you know, get into fine jewelry, but I find it really hard to sell some of the fine jewelry pieces I have, like some of my rings, Oops, cover the camera. Like these are some of them, except for this one. This was not, well, actually this could be 14 karat gold as well. So it was really nice to see all the designs of the designers, the apparel. Oh my goodness. So many things. I was just like, I love this. I don't know where I would wear it. Maybe yeah, on a birthday, a maybe to a brand ball, now, but it was so beautiful. So I'm glad we were able to see those designs, like the artistic designs that they came up with. It was just great. But since I'm in Soho, there's some other pop-ups going on, like at Coach, Core Hydration, get some water, some snacks, a bunch of things. So I'm just going to sing Soho for a bit, check out the free pop-ups, and then head to another show in like an hour. Ice cream. Now off to maybe get some water and some other stuff. So it looks like the mission behind Coachtopia is reduce root cycles. So they use a lot of the scraps fabrics from previous bags and designs to make these Coachtopia bags. So that's how some of these are like these little wave designs because they make from scraps and like here you see how they piece it together just so they reduce waste. I like that concept. Like this bag, it looks so good with my outfit. I wish I had it. I wish I owned it. I wonder how much it is. Yeah. As she was saying like things like this, like it's little pieces of leather that is being pieced together to make designs like that. I put on the wallet like a micro crossbody. I can make. I probably would wear a little shorter. How do we feel about it? Kind of like it. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. It's the last day to get any of these. I think she was saying that they won't be sold anymore. Today's the last day to pop up and it's the only store that even had a lot of these designs. So if I wanted it, I'll have to get it now. <laughs> it's not in the plan, but isn't this beautiful? It feels so substantial. Well, I mean, it's Coach. They are definitely quality leather goods. Yep, these are all made from like different pieces of scraps of leather from previous designs. So you can see these are all like layers. So that's so cool. Alright, back of Midtown. Heading to another show at the same location as the one I showed you earlier today at the Labs. And that's at the Prince, Char Prince George Ballroom. I think I'm on time. It's cutting it a little close when I was stopping at coat. But the last second, when I was about to buy the white one, I walked away and I said, let me think about it. Cause I know where it's at if I need it. So, me and all these things. Head to the show now. My friend can't make it, so 
to me solo for a little bit. But you know, I love my Lone Tato School. I got you with me. All right. enjoyed it. This was a quick one. It was only one designer and collection being shown. I really like how the designs, it wasn't like it was lace or like stitched together, but it was almost like it was laser cut. Like one long big sheet of fabric, laser cut all those intricate designs. So it was like one smooth sheet. I really like that. I love how they had like the veil. It's like bridal, but not because it was colorful. It was really, it was a really interesting touch. So I enjoyed it. Now I'm going to head back to Soho just because I have about a two and a half hour gap between my next show and I really actually really want to go to the next show. I really like how that collective usually curates their emerging designers from all over. So I definitely want to go to that. That's the 6. It's about 3.30. I actually just passed the subway. So I'm going to go back. Head to Soho. Maybe go to the Core Hydration House where they have different installations, activations, um, a lot of free water. Sometimes little bites if you get there in the right time. And just a chill area, like the, you could listen to common music, sit down, relax, and chill. So I'll do that. Maybe I'll run into some of my friends there. So, we shall see.
got number no rushing. And made it to the next show just in time because the rain started falling again. So made it to the next show just in time. And I see my friends here. You can see it over there. Yeah, over there. I'm headed home that we what am I saying oh yeah so you saw last the Negress LeBron fashion show and yeah they had a it was very like I feel like a very 70s there you go on the light I feel like it's very 70s inspired looks I loved the glam like the hair and everything love that so much but also like the vibe of the looks definitely 70s style inspired so it was cool and then they have like a little after party afterwards. So I got me a cupcake. I didn't even bother having a drink. I'm like, I'm tired. So instead of staying at the after party, heading home. Because tomorrow's a new day. New day, new shows, events. And I have a photography client before anything else, before everything else. So I'm gonna go home and prep for that. And I also have jewelry ordered to get out the door tomorrow morning. So I'm excited for her to have her piece. So definitely heading home so I can be home at least hopefully before midnight probably not but maybe before midnight and get knock all that stuff out so yeah this concludes day I don't know three and as you can see it's still raining raining again like probably can't see it on my arm in this video but it's pouring it's a good thing I'm wearing a bathing suit huh hopefully tomorrow's weather is much better and cooler because my look might be kind of hot <laughs> 